Hi, I'm David from Electric Teaching, and this is part six of my quadratic formula and more with Python and Pygame for displaying the graph. And now I'm going to kind of play around with what we've made so far to start off. Right here you can see I've got a graph on the screen. Let's take a look at the shell. I put in a 1x squared plus 6x plus 2 equation, and it's given us some information over here that we've displayed. More interesting, in my opinion, is the graph using Pygame Library that's on the screen. So I wanted to help you understand a little bit better first before we go any further on how the uh, the plotting works of how I've designed the N, the X and Y coordinates to be plotted. And to do that, I'm going to pull up a smart board uh, grid I've got going here. And what we've done, and this is a perfect example of the grid we have up here, what we've done is we've used the x location of width divided by 2. So in this case, that's the width, 400 divided by 2. So that puts me at 200, okay, minus i. So 200 minus i divided by my k, in this case, k is 25, as you can see here. So that then will take the 200. And divide that by uh, 25 and give me 8. So that gives me the x coordinate of 8. So the first thing I'm plotting is over here at x. Instead of working left to right as we do in traditional mathematics, uh, I found this easier to code working from right to left. So I'm placing the x value of 8, which is important to answer any algebra questions that we might have um, and quadratic equations that we must have. But it's also important to know when I plot it, I've got to plot it on the 400 by 400 pixel grid. So this is where it gets a little confusing when I go to plot the, uh, the actual parabola. For instance, as you can see the xy points over here, um, as we go through the iterations, I'm going to be going from x equal 8 in this case with this 400 by 400 and k equal 25 situation. And I'm going to have this going from 8 down to 7 and all the way down to negative 7.96. Uh, in the middle should be a, somewhere of 0. The y coordinates are simply the plug and chug, so I just use function notation to indicate whatever the y function is. We want to plot the we want to plug and chug those. Okay. Um, over here. We're plotting the actual point. So the actual first point that I'm plotting is plotting at the 400 pixel point. That's 400 pixels across in the X, okay? And whatever the Y coordinates are. Down below, I've done a sample of X squared minus 4. X squared minus 4, a simple parabola here. Okay, I'm going to jump the screen here for a little bit. Let me scroll this, okay? And what I want to show you is how this works. So what I'm doing is keep plugging and chugging and, um, x is a, at f of 8. I'm plugging in 8, getting a y coordinate. But more importantly, I'm plotting the y coordinate on this grid. And so what I'm doing is I'm plotting the x, y coordinate. So over here, 8 across in the algebra is 400 pixels across on the Pi game screen. Um, where is the actual y value? Well, the y value, if you plug and chug 8 into the equation x squared minus 4 is 60. And if you plug and chug to our equation, the way I've worked that out is you start at 200 and you back up the plug and chug of 25 pixels per every one of those y's. Well, man, that takes us way up negative 1,300 pixels. So that's way off the screen. But it's also off the screen because it's 60 values up and our screen only goes 8 values up. So you can see that when I actually tell the computer to plot that, it's plotting nothing on our screen. In a sense, it's a waste of time. A good program would actually not even waste plotting that. Um, again, I'm trying to make this a simple idea for you to learn off of, and therefore I'm doing it this method. To get a better idea, let's plug and chug a value of 0. So the x value is the 200 of 400 iterations in. Remember, this is our i right here that's changing. Okay, and so let me scroll up so you can see it. So minus i, minus 0, minus 1, minus 200. Well, that's when we got the plug and chug of 0. The plug and chug of 0. So the x value of 0, evaluate at 0. So down here, if we evaluate it at 0, let me scroll this up. If you evaluate at 0, you get a negative 4. Well, the x 
notice that on the screen, the x value of 0 equates to or translates to a 200 pixels across. And the y value is basically 300 pixels down. It starts at 200, okay? And it goes minus, minus because it works backwards compared to the plus of the x's. Okay, minus here and plus over here. Minus because it's upside down, okay? So minus, but we got a negative times negative, so we actually added a plug and jug of negative four adds 100 pixels. And so then we'll get 100 extra pixels down, we'll get a plot of down four for the center of that. Okay, and 300 pixels, you can see, is directly between the 200 and 400 down, so that should be four down on the graph. So this, I hope, gives you a better understanding. You might want to pause and read through this if you really, truly want to understand it, because this will give you the ability to make different games and different grids and different situations for your own desires. I also do it this way so that you truly understand the mathematics behind it. And to me, that is essential as I do this within a math class often. Let's run x squared minus 4 so we can see how it looks. So let's come back to the program. I'm going to run it. I want to give you an idea. 1, 0, negative 4. See how it looks. So you can see it's graphed it 300 pixels down, 200 pixels across for that 0, 0 point. Okay, that's very important. Uh, let's mess with this a little bit, give you an idea of changing it. What if you needed to graph something that had a more intense grid? What if you wanted only 10 pixels per grid? Okay, and you needed even the width and the height to be bigger, maybe a 500, 500. So you can see by changing just these variables right here, everything should still work beautifully. Let's cross our fingers. I haven't done this yet. Okay, uh, let's might as well do our my uh, my x squared minus four, my difference of squares. I always tell my kids you need to see these guys difference of squares a mile away. Now look at our grid. Is that still a parabola down four? Sure is. Sure is x squared minus four. And I've got a very tight graph if I uh, a grid system if I wanted it to be this way. Okay. So this is, again, how we use um, the graphing equation, or excuse me, the quadratic grapher, as I'm making. I've just made up that phrase. Our quadratic graphing equation. Um, if you continue on with my next parts in my video sequence, I plan on uh, taking all this information and actually putting it up on my screen. So I want to basically, let me run another program here for my next videos. I'm off the grid off here a little bit. Okay. Uh, for my next videos, I'd like to actually, on my window here, display the same information that's back over here in the shell. So that way my information's all on one window. And later we'll be able to graph multiple graphs, hopefully, and uh, hopefully even get down the road and do some intersections of graphs if possible. So I'm David and from Electric Teaching. I hope you enjoyed using this in your lessons to learn Python, Pygame, or and to use in your math instruction somehow.